so today we are on our way to Oahu uh, for a little business and a little bit of R&R. &R. Yeah. So we'll keep you updated with different things that we're going to be doing today. I am going to be hanging out with my son, so I'll see you later. See you. $5.75. What you having, honey? Um, it's a fried rice barbecue hot dog and one egg. Mm, how, mu style. how much is that? $5.55. Five, five. That's cheap. This is all the different plate lunches you can get here. Check out the Friday specials. Yes. We have Hawaiian plate, roast turkey, curry stew, short ribs, mochiko yes. chicken. Oh, it's a combination. What is the name of your pig? This is Hapa. Hapa. You were thinking of getting a pig too. I heard they're really good. You just gotta spend some time with them. And they're clean, yeah? They're smarter than dogs. Yeah, that's what I heard too. He lives, a, he lives in the house. More smart than dogs. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. They're stubborn and they eat way more than dogs. Okay, we just came from St. Louis Drive-In and this is our breakfast. It's got the barbecue hot dog, fried rice and eggs. And I got uh, regular rice, actually it looks like hopper rice, mm -hmm. uh, which is a combination of brown rice and white rice, scrambled eggs, and fried ahi for breakfast. And it has tartar sauce. I yeah. wish it didn't have tartar sauce. They have lots of different fish over there. Yeah, but it, it looks good. I'm going to eat ahi it. I'm ahi. hungry. That's sure. Yeah, he already ate. Mm -hmm. We started grinding. <laughs> He's like, oh, sorry. Is it this okay? The eggs actually are good because it has some salt on it. Sometimes when you go to restaurants and you order eggs, they don't put any salt on it. And if you forget to ask for salt or shoyu, then you're going to have bland eggs. Mm, my eggs has um, green onion on top. You don't like green onion. It's okay. It's not that I don't really like it. It's just... I love green onion. Not like it when it's overwhelming, but... This is not, not very much at all. Mm. Kind of wish I asked for show you. No tartar sauce. This fried rice has a fish cake, the mm. pink and white one, and then it looks like the brown mm. and white fish Kamaboko. cake. Yeah. I love fish cake too. I like the pink and white one versus just the, um, you know, the brown mm -hmm. one. And just a nice bowl inside. Mm. So yeah, we're gonna finish up eating our breakfast. Um, he's gonna go off to do some business. I'm gonna go off and to pick up my son. And then we're going to go to Diamond Head. We're gonna hike Diamond Head. So we'll check back with you later. Not to mention that these come with a free drink. Oh yeah, I forgot too. And it was only five something less than six dollars and it comes with a drink. What a deal. <laughs> Hi guys, so this is my son Justin. We're um, on the trail up to Diamond Head right now. Are you excited? Yeah. We just started, it's really, really hot. <laughs> so I'm not sure, um, yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah. But we'll see you at the top.
trail. How did you like it? It was um, fun. Yeah, kind of. It's a little bit rocky. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not too bad. It's, yeah. um, it's just there's a lot of people, so you kind of have to follow their pace. Um, the worst part for me was uh, Tantano. It was just a little claustrophobic and very, um, very, very hot. But other than that, it was okay. Yeah, the view was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Yeah. So we're off now to have some lunch. See you in a bit. What is this one called? Uh, blue holes. Blue holes. <laughs> I just have a regular burger. A traditional burger. I know it's a fish taco place, but we decided to get burgers instead. And this is our special fries. It tastes really, really good. Hi guys, so right now we're going into Palama Supermarket, which is a Korean supermarket. I've never been here, but I've always wanted to come in here. I, I want to go look for some stuff. Um, specifically some noodles. So let's go ahead in. Oh, it looks like they made just made it. It's the bottom ones are warm. A oh, green tea, oh, chocolate pie. You tried that one? Yeah. Is it good? Have you had the regular one? Yeah. I never tried it. I think I was gonna try it. Look at all that kimchi, fried tofu. Oh, I like that. Very spicy. Hint, hint. Maybe next video. Hi guys, so we're at Helena's right now and guess who I picked up? Food. Helena's is a Hawaiian uh, food place that we love to come. We usually, sometimes when we come um, come from the airport, we go. Sh we come straight here, but not today because he had some business to do. So this is gonna be our dinner. Um, we love this place. When our food comes, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we ordered. Okay, we came and this is hello cake. Okay. This is squid luau. Try stew. Pipitala, which is the best, and the I keep forgetting the beef and watercress. And my favorite is Alpia, and of course, his favorite is Poi. Hi guys, uh, we're back in the room. We were checked in and we're about to go to sleep because we had like a really full day. We're tired. Um, but before we go to sleep, I think we should have a snack. <laughs> How about this? This is from the Liha Bakery. Yes. Butter roll? Um, Jello squares. Jello squares and Cocoa Puffs. What kind of topping is on the cocoa puff? Chantilly, frosting, it's mm -hmm. butter, butter, and more butter. With a pastry, and inside is chocolate filling. Yes, bite into it and you can show them what's in it. Oh my. Do I have to? <laughs> I know you want to. Well, you don't want to heat it in the micro? Nope. <laughs> yep. I'll heat it in my tummy. 
Mmm. You want some? Mm-mm. I some. want no. I want this. This is my square. Jello shooters. I, it's not oh, it's not a jello shooter. <laughs> I wish I had asked for a fork, I forgot. It says um jello on it on the top and there's a cream cheese uh, filling and on the bottom is like a graham crust. It's my favorite. It's so good. Nobody makes it like really a bakery. The chantilly top with the chocolate and the outside. Oh, it's so delicious together. But yes, um, if you don't know by now, we we love to eat. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> but anyways, um, we'll continue this vlog tomorrow. Good night, guys. Nighty night. Bye.
kahuna burrito. Yeah, kahuna, not a kalua. But yeah, so disgusting, but that's okay. Um, I'm happy now that I have my mochi and that bird keeps flying over. I keep telling... He wants to get his egg back. Telling Joey to please throw that egg away. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna eat our food. Um, walking into International Marketplace. Honey, you want to explain what International Marketplace, what it used to be? Um, pretty much just a big banyan tree with lots of little kiosks in there. Very um, touristy. Touristy and I don't know, not very nice looking, but they, they've really redone it now. Yeah, we've never been back since they um, we did it, so we're gonna go ahead and look at it from the outside. It kind of looks like it. It looks like a mall. Nice mall. Yeah. Yeah, this was the original banyan trees. Um, there were actually a lot more. And in between the banyan trees, they used to have little um, like tables and stuff set up with people selling their stuff, like shell vase and stuff like that. That's Don Ho. I think they just dedicated this uh, statue. This store, I can be in here for hours, but we're not gonna be in here for hours. My honey's here, but yeah, let's take a look. What's inside? You like this store? I like the food, yeah. There's a lot of good food places on the outside, but yeah, let's look what's inside. I can't wait. Anything you can think of for your face, they have. Look at everything. A lot of the things are written in Japanese. Some of the stuff have English in the back. I'm not sure what this mask is for, but they have a lot of implements, shavers, stuff for your pores. That one's a little pricey. You have tons and tons of moisturizers. They also have very unusual facial masks. This one is uh, for just the cheeks only. And then we have this one, which is the Scroll Aqua face mask. Now heading over to the false eyelashes. If you wear false eyelashes, you'll go crazy in here. They have so many to choose from. A lot of different uh, eyeliners, mascaras. They have the one that's called Dolly Wink, and that's supposed to be really, really good. It's pretty expensive, though. I haven't tried it, but I've heard a lot about it. A lot of eyeliners. A lot of stuff that they say tattoo, but... I think it's just a semi-permanent ink kind of a thing. Everything you can think of. See, they have a lash perm. A lot of the tattoo things here. Here's some of the face masks uh, that Jody and I, we did a video on. 
Uh, I did the dog and he did the geisha. These are pretty inexpensive face masks. Now heading over to the snack area. Chips, very unusual kind of chips. Here's one which is a tomato and cheese tortilla chips. And this is the hard candy section. I like this section. They have uh, different ty types of uh, hard candy like ume, which is a sour plum. And that's ginger. They have lychee candy. I've even seen a candy that was like a cheese, cheese candy. Lemon, pineapple, haichu, that's a really good candy. Heading over to the bakery area. Stuff here. It's the Japanese bread. I love this bread. It's so good. But Look how little bit there's only six pieces in here. This is the famous milk roll. It usually sells out really quick. A lot of people like it. I, it's okay. And Japanese bread. It has a little bit more in here, but this brand is really, really good. super cheap where I live it's $3.99 a pound and this is the best apples if you can find envy apples try it you'll never go back to any other apples this is the best apples it's crunchy it doesn't get brown it's super sweet to mix the top apple this is all the little restaurants and pastry places they have outside of Don Iolani Palace was the royal residence of rulers of the Hawaiian Kingdom, beginning with Kamehameha III under the Kamehameha Dynasty and ending with Queen Liliokalani under the Kalakaua Dynasty, founded by brother King David Kalakaua. Palace grounds. Menu from from uh, 
sides, salads, and all the way up to dessert. Everything in the middle, from Kobe steak to any kind of seafood. Uh, just about everything you can think of. So. Yeah, so that's the way we're doing this. We're going to be here a lot if you have an hour and a half. We have a few other choices too, and for a little less, but we decided to go more. Yeah. So, that is just going to go ahead and wait for our food and we'll continue and show you what we have, all the food that we order. Enjoy. and it'll taste yeah. you. <laughs> yum yum. We're cooking like maniacs because we have an hour and a half to eat all we can. I'm sure we'll beat the, the budget. Delicious. Yummy. The filet mignon. Taki mushroom. Some kind of uh, lean pork, garlic, shrimp, more ahi, and more shigana. Yummy. And he's been eating some of that uh, ahi raw. That's the sweet soy. Um, Japanese pork sausage. Japanese pork sausage and some fish We have the vanilla ice cream. We have the green cream. tea. And we have the mochi. Put the mochi on the fire. And what happens? They puff up in the middle. They get like swollen or fat. And then you go and you put them in your nice cold ice cream. And it's delicious. It's hot and it's chewy. It's getting puffy. See how fat they get? Good. Delicious. enjoyed it we did yeah we yeah. had so much to eat lots of eating so don't forget to like comment and subscribe till next time bye, bye.